Hi everybody, welcome back to the craft room and day 29 of the calendar and I opened this this morning before I walked the dogs and to say I was confused is a bit of an understatement <laughs> because I just, I mean I only looked at it quickly but I just couldn't see how a raccoon looking to be doing a bit of meditation or yoga this a bedroll and a baby's ball I just could not could not get my head around that so I have sat here for a little while trying to figure it out at first I thought maybe this is a frame but I cut a few I mean I cut a few of them and you know it's a frame that you make yourself but it's the angles aren't right for a square or even five sides or six sides it just doesn't so I have spent some time I've got some alcohol markers out and I've done some cutting I also pulled out this grass and these little sprigs of grass also gummy and pan so I cut those as well so I've cut some grass I've cut four of those three of him bed rolled two bottles and some bits of grass and I thought that might give me some time to think about what this is and I have just thought I just thought I'm just going to use it all so <laughs> that's what I'm going to do but I did think again on this and thought maybe this is his little is his little den so maybe that is supposed to be his little den and this is wood maybe so that's how I'm gonna colour it I'm gonna stack these together <clears throat> and make a little wooden den for him to sit underneath to do his yoga I've cut him a few times so I'm going to just do a little, a little bit of stacking not much but some and we'll have some few sprigs of grass here and there the bedroll it's just I don't know what he's doing with the bedroll but he's going to have a bedroll and equally I don't know what he's doing with baby's bottles but that's going to be his uh, food so <laughs> So I'm going to, um, let me pop these away safely, if I need to cut any more I will, I haven't got a card base or anything but we'll get to that, so let's get all these on here. Do him in a minute. Oops. I'll do the wood first, I think. Let's stick these together. So yes, I'm very interested to see what um everybody else makes of it. let's get this coloured so I've got some browns out for that so I'm just going to do some brown from the base where it's going to be darker darker on the inside I'm going to do a few of these wood marks I might do it, get a darker one and darken those up in a bit
And I've gone a bit the light on this wood, but I think that's all right. I might darken that up in a bit. Right, let's have a look at this bed roll. I'm going to do that in these yellow greens. I'm going to cut one. I'm going to let me stack this first and then cut one. Oh, actually, I might pull that bit out. Yes, I will. So I'm just going to snip that bit out. that bit in first So, a little bit darker Oops, on the floor. He's going to be... I'll do that in a bit. And I'm just going to do the handle and the straps brown. <clears throat> so I'm just going to snip those out, held in by pips, so easy enough to do. Do that a little bit. 
I'm just going to stick this on here. Then the bedroll, that turned out quite nice, I thought. Let me just do some of this grass. I'll do this as well. <clears throat> those over there I'm going to clean this up clean my hands because it's quite easy to transfer the darker colors onto the lights and I'm doing this little guy gray and light gray so let me get this cleaned up so for the little bottle I'm going to leave it white but I'm just going to do the lid in a gray this one so this is a blue grey. So I'm just going to do the. I don't know what colour it is. Normally, oh, it might be pink normally, mightn't it? I don't know. And I'll just do a bit of. And I don't know why I did both of them because I'm going to stick them together. And now we have this fella. So and I'm going to cut his tail off because that'll be behind. I think I'm going to put his tummy and his eyes and his nose on top. So, tiny bits, but that's what I'm going to do. So, I will start by colouring his tail. I've got these warm greys, not that one. Oh, yeah, maybe that one. These warm greys, and I've got the one cool grey, which is the lightest grey I've got, so... So I'm thinking they've got dark dark tails, haven't they? Dark and light tails. Like that.
So, um, I don't know the colour of raccoons. I think they're grey all over, aren't they? With a like a dark bit on their face. I don't know. That's what I'm doing. Do is a bit lighter. No, that's the wrong one. nose and dark eyes so let's just cut these out Lighten up a little bit there. I think we might do his eyes even darker. I think. see them to cut them out.
one. be a bit too dark I'm just going to darken this up a little bit and we'll get a little bit of white pen and then we'll just do a little bit of a tiny dot there I don't know if I like that now I've done it, so blot it down a little bit. There we go. Oh, he needs his tail, doesn't he? Let's get him stuck on here. I'm going to just colour around that first. So that we uh, don't see the white. There we go. Nearly forgot your tail. Watch out. So that's everything coloured. Tidy up, put the pens away, and let's and then we can get on with the card. So I quickly knocked up a card base and a matte layer. And I think I'm going to put an aperture in this and he's gonna be sat behind, so I need to see how big this is going to be because I want that to be fit in there so let me just grab some okay so I think I'm wanting an aperture in here but say that might be okay so I can get everything in there I might want to go a little bit smaller though Just got this over. I want it now. Right, 
right, let me just cut this. Okay, so. <clears throat> these together first. Let's have a little bit of grass. Okay, I can only apologise for you not seeing that end of the video. My camera decided to stop working and I didn't notice until I'd finished the card. But here is the finished card. I think you saw up until me putting some grass and just putting these on. I added the other elements, stacked it up on some foam and added the bedroll and the bottle. I don't know if that's how um, Gummy Pan intended these little bits to be used, but that's the only thing I could think of doing. So that's it for this time. I will be interested to see what um, how other people use it. But in the meantime, that's it. I will see you for day twenty. No, day thirty tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Okay. Bye.